All right, what's up guys? So for this one, I'm gonna be uh, painting this little mini spoiler that I bought. It comes off of uh, an RSX OEM and it's original, so that's pretty cool. I already uh, tested it and it's flawless. It works, uh, it looks perfect, fit and finish, everything. OEM optional is always uh, very, very nice. Uh, it comes with like these little studs right here where you have to drill into the um, actual hatch But I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna be using a Window weld to actually mount this So yeah, but that's gonna be in the future when I do mount it So I got this stuff uh, Adhesion promoter. I'm gonna be uh, painting the lip again soon and I'm gonna be using this this time I hit something like a broom or something and it chipped and I'm just gonna be using basic uh, 1k clear on this So yeah, so and then I have uh, the matching paint same thing as the car So let's uh, test fit it and let's see how it looks All right, so let's get it I already took off those little studs, so it's gonna sit there uh, pretty uh, even. So you check right here, that gap, almost the same as this one, could probably come over a little bit. So yeah, so there it is right there. Besides it being a different color, it looks pretty dang good. Yeah, it definitely fills in, fills in the rear. So it definitely fills in the rear really, really nice. Instead of just uh, going back, it gives it a little bit of flair. Pretty happy with the way it looks. All right, so I'm gonna uh, scuff this up and yeah, don't want this thing to uh, fall way out. And this thing is made pretty dang good. It's uh, very, very sturdy. It looks like a Kind of like it's like it's hollow in a way, which makes it you know a little bit more like structurally uh, rigid and stuff. So yeah, so that looks pretty cool. And then uh, the way I'm gonna actually mount it is I'm gonna get a clear vinyl. I'm gonna put vinyl all over here, but I'm gonna put it only where it's underneath the spoiler. It's gonna be cut off right here. And then I'm gonna put window weld on the vinyl itself. I'm not gonna put window weld on the actual finish. And then when I uh, put it on there, um, if I ever wanna release it, like take it off, I could just uh, take it off and then I could just uh, take off the vinyl and not have to worry about anything that's actually on the paint. So that's always been my little uh, technique whenever I mount something with actual uh, urethane or, you know, I uh, just put a piece of uh, vinyl, whether it's black for the other car or, um, yeah, anything. And that's just a little technique that I use. All right, so I'm gonna scuff this down and let's get to painting. And I also picked up these uh, window visors for a few dollars, literally $3. And might throw these on, it's a little bit cracked right there, but I could easily repair that. These are, uh, another version these are about 30 bucks or 40 bucks they have some for like 15 to 20 which are a little bit more um bigger but i kind of like these how they go down they taper down so for three dollars it's really not bad repairing instead of just buying uh some for 40 bucks and yeah the passenger side it's uh actually pretty good but yeah so i'm gonna clean these up and install these as soon as possible so just gonna try it out. I could always just rip them off if I don't like them, but yeah. I'm gonna show you what else I got. I picked up an RSX black trunk mat. This thing was about, I believe, $7. And it's actually pretty straight. It's got like one stain there and some red marks right there and another stain right there. But um, I'm gonna vacuum it, vacuum it up really, really nice, pressure wash it, and install this because I have my tan one in the back and my tan one is absolutely 
flawless and I noticed that I've been getting a little bit of like some specs where I throw stuff in but um, I don't want to ruin it so I'm gonna just get a black one where I don't have to worry. all right so last but not least when I install that I'm gonna be installing this this is a $20 uh, PVC all-weather truck mat. This is for like SUVs and hatchbacks, but if you have a sedan You could always uh, you know cut this like I'm gonna do and it's uh, trimmable too. It says somewhere right here Right there a trimmable mat. So yeah This is the texture Right there and yeah, this thing weighs about 10 pounds so if you are into a fast sporty car that handles incredibly nice and uh yeah you're just for the quickness uh don't get it. you'll be adding uh 10 pounds to your car so yeah that's how it looks right there and i'm gonna be adding that on top of uh the black mat that i have so yeah just uh keep things uh nice and durable and everything so yeah all right so the first thing i'm gonna do scuff it down with some 400 grit sandpaper adhesion promoter and then I'm going to use, uh, yeah, base and clear. So first I'm going to scuff it down. All right, guys. So I have it right there. It's all scuffed down. Some spots are shiny, but it's all right. I have uh, some uh, alcohol. Just going to go over it real quick. Take off anything that could possibly give me issues. And then I'm gonna spray it with that uh, adhesion promoter. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna let that sit for uh, five minutes, like the instruction says, and then it'll be good. All right guys, so I'm gonna be changing the angle here and there because I can't really get over here with the tripod, but yeah, I'm gonna be uh, alternating positions, but this is gonna be uh, the first um, coat of uh, base coat. It's gonna just be a tack coat for now. And make sure when you're painting always put your glove all the way to the back like that because uh, you don't want your glove could be hanging over and you could get splatters all over your uh, your piece so yeah make sure it's back and as soon as I uh, I'm about to spray it uh, gets a little bit gusty That's good for now. So next one's gonna be a medium, and then third coat's gonna be uh, pretty heavy. So, or actually, I think I'm gonna do two more mediums after this and leave it. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go for that medium coat. All right, so the only problem that I'm having is that in a few spots where I kind of burn through, I really have to focus in those areas, like right there at the tip right there. So yeah, I have to pound a little bit more right there, but overall it's looking very, very good and smooth. So 
and you could also see right there there's a little bit where I burn through I yeah, just got to get that uh make sure there's base there before I forget and make sure I get every spot all right so this wasn't really uh a heavy heavy coat but it was a little bit more than uh you know like a moderate and I'm getting it better and better getting more uh deeper and you know like a more of a solid color so yeah so really coming out good there's a corner the black spots fading away where I burned through when I was scuffing it and there's that corner right there overall looking pretty good so I'm probably gonna do two more medium coats and then that's it All right, so let's check it out in the Sun That doesn't look too bad. That looks very, very nice. All right, so let's get to the clear coat now. All right, so I just went over it and uh, I got off a little bit of specks of dirt and white trash that was in it. And uh, anything white against a darker surface or, you know, of a, you know, something that'll clash and and all that um if it's between the you know the um the base coat and the clear coat it's permanent so make sure to wipe everything down and make sure you don't got to wipe it all down just wipe it down in areas that you see trash so it's time for some uh, spray max and now let's go by the way i have the screwdriver right there so i can get the very very edge because i wasn't getting base right there but i finally got everything Alright, so let's go. All right, so that was first coat. All right, guys, so I put two coats already. First one was tack, second one was medium. I'm gonna put uh, two more mediums on it. Alright, so after that, I'm gonna put another coat. That's it. Alright, so I got it baking in the sun. And then uh, after this, next video is gonna be me putting it on. But yeah, so uh, pretty much done already as far as I am physically. So I gotta uh, take a break and then I'm going to mount it. But you guys already seen it, looks pretty nice. It's already, uh, it matches. It's actually a very, very good job he did as far as blending. Yeah, so look who's right there.